spilled the drink on the machine. That's fantastic. Watch me change the denomination and lose it all in one spin. Five, six, I think I'm supposed to hold the trays straight for a straight draw. Five, six, seven, nine, but I'm not going to because I don't want to. And I think I broke the machine. That's fantastic. Does the button work? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's really not working. for a coat. It's time to get gambling. Woo! Let's go have a jackpot party. Dad, I'm too tired to gamble. I'm too tired. I'm so sleepy. Let me keep sleeping in this four-star hotel bed. We can't, Ruby. We gotta go gamble. It's time to go start sliding in the slots. Let's get gambling. All right. So we are playing nickel, double double bonus video poker. I think I'm an expert at this. We will find out. Should I play, well, for this video, we're just gonna play bare minimum. Drinking for free, baby. By the way, if I make any mistakes, please let me know in the comments. I'm always trying to get better at video poker. And for this session, I'll be using my fingers. Normally I like slapping buttons, but it's nice to switch it up once in a while. Mm, oh, you guys are gonna destroy me in the comments. This is probably the wrong move, but we're gonna try it anyways. If that was the wrong move, please let me know in the comments. Pair of sevens. Three of a kind. Can we get a fourth? We will find out. Not at all. Got a queen. Always hold the royalty. Unless you have three of a kind. Or two pair. I think I'm just supposed to hold the ace. Let's see, king, nothing. Why doesn't this game have sound? I'm gonna have to play some background music. I think I'm supposed to hold the jack and the queen. Let me know in the comments if I totally messed that up. Pair of tabs. It's so quiet playing in the middle of the night. A little too quiet. I wonder if I should sing. Am I supposed to hold a pair or am I also supposed to hold a straight draw? Let me know in the comments. Let's see, queen, king, I think. It is so hot in this casino. Ace, jack, I believe. Did I screw that up? All right, that's a no-brainer. Got a flush. Now keep in mind, we're playing bare minimum. We're playing five cents a spin, so we can drink for free. Or however many nickels we lose in the machine. Which shouldn't be that much. It's so hot in here. I'll take my hat off. Oh, you were the best. Drink service. Right on time, you're the best. Thank you so much, cheers. <clears throat> All right back to gambling <laughs> drinking <clears throat> for free did I just spill beer on the machine or did I spit <laughs> pair of kings let's go sorry I should have had the credits turned into dollars and cents so you can see how little it costs to drink for free if you play a nickel machine and stick with strategy, only playing five cents a spin. It's a fun video game, but over the long run, it's always gonna beat you. So why not minimize your losses, have some fun on the game, drink all night for free, if that's your thing. Or if not, you could always order a diet with ice. Oh, good job. Just spill the drink on the machine. That's fantastic. Watch me change the denomination and lose it all in one spin. 
five, six. I think I'm supposed to hold the trays straight for a straight draw, five, six, seven, nine, but I'm not going to because I don't want to. And I think I broke the machine. That's fantastic. Does the button work? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's really not working. What's going on? Do you guys see this? Look. The whole game froze. Oh my gosh. What do I do? Can I cash out? Uh, service? Okay, the, the service light. That's the only thing that's working. I just turned that on right now. I swear. <laughs> Let me move the camera back a little bit. Hitting the buttons. Nothing. Oh, there we go. It just came back alive. Thank goodness. Thought it broke the machine. It was going to get my money even faster. Hold with me while I suck while I move the camera around. Uh, let's get the view right. All right. Cool. The machine came back to life. Or did it? Oh. Okay. If it wakes up, we're going to have cash out move machines because this is going to take my money very quickly. Uh cash out button not working well let me zoom out here a little bit it won't let me never mind uh, what do we do this whole machine is locked up <sighs> all right well this has never happened before in my life at least the service button works <laughs> what do we do I can't do anything it doesn't work. Well, that's what happens when you spill your drink on a slot machine. Oh, wait. Can I hold? It's, okay, let's try it. Let's, if it works, we will cash out right away. Just draw, spin. Oh man, this is frustrating. Nothing. Nothing, what is going on? Okay. Does anybody have any idea what to do? I can't believe this. Sorry for slapping the tripod, but this is outrageous. I haven't even had a chance to drink my drink because I spilled it on the machine and now it took all my money, apparently. By the way, if you guys know what to do in a situation like this, please let me know in the comments because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Well, I guess we're just gonna sit back and have a drink. <clears throat> this is a little absurd. So, the machine has our money. We don't know what to do. All Ruby's bones are inside the machine and I don't think we're gonna get them back. Sorry, right. well I put down my teddy bear and I moved the camera all over the place just to drive everybody nuts. So, it actually has our money, and it's not working, and the service light's on, but no one's coming. Uh, we're at Binion's, so no one probably cares. But uh, also, cash out does not work either. Ridiculous. Should we put money in like the next machine and hope that someone comes back with our twenty dollars? I think we're gonna have to move machines. This is outrageous. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sign off and move to a new machine. Actually, this one's right here. Uh, I'm gonna have to this part out. Let's move machines. And this time, we can't play that machine because of the glare with the camera. Should we play this machine right here? Once again, too much glare. Oh, that one is impossible. All right, I guess we're gonna have a little sun shot. Sorry about the glare, guys, but the machine, without the light in its eyes, has all my money in it. It won't give it back. So we're gonna try this one, I think. We're just going to try $5 on this machine and see what happens. 
Do you think we can get anything off $5? Do you think we can last off of $5? This might not go well, but it's only five bucks. We're here to have a good time and drink for free. That's the whole point tonight. That's why we're not spending more than a nickel on a spin. So here we go. That's not $100. That's 100 nickels. Let's get at it. Ah, but I want to change the game because I am a fan of the payout table and double-double bonus. Turn the speed down a little bit and let's bet one credit, which is one nickel, and let's play a ball. Someone else left, what, two cents in the machine? So we already started at a profit. <laughs> here we go, King and my dog just ran off. Ruby, get back, come here. All right, hold the King. Hopefully someone comes to get my money out of that machine. I've never had a slot machine steal my money quite like that. Got a pair of jacks, that's why we're not gonna hold the ace. King, pair of kings. Queen. All right, let's go back to dollars and cents so everyone can see the amount. Hey, I like that sun <laughs> right in the middle of our slot machine. The lighting here is terrible. And we're gonna throw all those away and come up empty handed. So we got Queen King, I think that's the right play. By the way, any time you see you think that I made a wrong play, please reach out to me in the comments. I wanna get better at video poker. Now here's a key strategy and double double bonus specifically. Because of the pay table, because four aces with a two, three, four pays so much, it pays half of a royal flush. That's the whole reason if you ever have two pair and aces are one of those pair, you throw away whatever else there is. The reason is, is a pair of aces pays the same as two pair. So you wanna throw away the two pair, keep the pair of aces, because your hand can only get better. You get three aces or four aces or a full house, which all pay far better than two pair. And some people might say, well, if you hold the two pair, then you're drawn for a full house. Correct. But you have to look at your total payout on a full house. We're only playing one nickel at a time. We get seven credits for a full house. If we pulled four aces out of our butt with a two, three, four, we get 400 credits. Which would you rather have, seven or 400? I'll take my shot. A pair of aces coming up dry. But you can't say we didn't try. A pair of sevens instead of the king. Ace king. And a pair of twos. I think I'm gonna have to reach out to the Cowboy Slots YouTube channel and ask what you're supposed to do when the machine takes your money after you spill your drink all over it. <laughs> Full house, all right. We got seven nickels. This keeps changing back and forth. I'm trying to keep it on dollars and cents so everyone can keep track of just how little we're spending to drink for free. It's the whole strategy. Got a pair of twos. I, oh, pair of eights. Always hold a pair. Overdrawn for pairing up on royalty. That's how I've been taught, at least. Maybe I was taught wrong. I do make mistakes in this game. I feel I'm very proficient specifically in double double bonus poker however I still do make mistakes so if you notice me make a mistake please let me know in the comments I read all the comments myself I respond to as many of them as I can and I'm always trying to get better at this game by the way am I supposed to hold the queen jack or the queen ten jack because that's three to a straight let me know in the comments if you know if you don't please don't because I'll just get worse at this game than I already am Hold the ace. So we're not even down 50 cents yet in this game. And we've already gotten two drinks at the same time from our lovely cocktail waitress. Hold the four for a flush draw. And came up empty handed. Hold the queen and the king. Oh, 
old king. Three of a kind, all right. Too bad we weren't betting $100 bills, because that didn't pay squat. We got four to a straight. Ended up with jacks or better. Nice constellation prize. All right, got a pair of kings. We will hold the eights, because four kings wouldn't pay any more than four of, okay, I'm lying. Four kings pay exactly that much. But in this instance, we're holding for a full house. No king, no eight. No house on the river. Pair of eights, coming up with nothing. Now I think I'm supposed to hold the pair. If I'm wrong, if I'm supposed to hold the three to a straight flush draw, please let me know in the comments so I can get this one right. Hey, you got three of a kind. Pair of tens instead of the eights. And I think I'm supposed to hold three to a straight flush. Let me know if I got that wrong in the comments. I keep saying that over and over, but I need help with this game. Uh, nothing. Go fish. Jacks are better. Hold the ace. What do I hold? Just the queen. Oh, I already got a pair, so hold the pair. Three tens. I'll take it. You think we'll get a fourth ace? Not a chance. Hold for a full house. Got it. Oh, now we're supposed to hold the pair of eights. It would be tempting to hold the queen and the king, but you have to think what card would be most beneficial. If we hold the queen and the king, and we got what we were looking for, either one more queen or one more king, that would be what? Two, uh, that would be a pair, jacks are better. However, if we hold a pair of eights and we happen to get one more eight, we can get three of a kind. Or if we're really lucky, which has never happened with me, we get four of a kind and that pays substantially more. So let's hold the pair and see what happens. Two pair, better than a sharp stick. We'll hold the four to a flush and we missed. Hold a pair of sixes instead of the queen. And my dog is trying to tip over the tripod. So let's see what happens here. All right, we survived. Let's deal some cards. A pair of threes, three of a kind. I'll take it. I think I'm supposed to hold the ace and the jack. Let me know if I'm wrong. I might only be supposed to hold the ace in a situation like that, but there's so many different rules to memorize in playing this specific game, Double Double Bonus, that I don't always get it right. And I apologize, but we're only playing five cents at a time, so it really doesn't matter unless I screw up on something major like throwing away three aces or four to a royal. But that wouldn't surprise me either. What do we got? I think I'm supposed to hold those three. Let me know if I'm wrong. Got a pair of aces. Got something out of it. Ace. Ace again. Pair of jacks. I'll take it. Do you think we can get a 4-2? If we got four twos, that'd be 80 nickels. We got it! <laughs> oh my goodness. That's fantastic. We just doubled our money. More than. That was awesome. Too bad we weren't in quarters. That would have really been, that uh, would have been like 40, 50 bucks. Who cares? Remember, we're drinking for free. We're still keeping tabs of how many nickels are in the machine. This is wonderful. So far, if we keep at least $10, we'll get at least two rounds of drinks with tips. Because in Vegas, by the way, make sure you tip at least $2 every time they bring you a drink. A dollar ain't worth anyone's time, so don't do it. Tip at least two dollars, more if you're feeling generous, but two dollars every single time you see that waitress and never skip a time tipping them. They will treat you like a king if they're slow, or especially if you're playing in the middle of the night, like I am, and they don't have a lot of patrons to serve. 
they'll come around every 10 minutes. I've had plenty of times that I've played, probably half the time at this specific casino, where in the middle of the night, where I'm playing on purpose, so I can get good service, there's cocktail waitresses. As long as I keep giving them a couple dollars every time they bring me a drink, they'll come every five minutes with a new drink. If you're trying to get happy, that's how to do it in an hour. Hi, so my machine over here froze. I moved here because I'm bored and I want to keep gambling uh, and drinking. But I put a 20 in and you can see it froze like right away. It won't even let me draw or deal or... Uh... So it's like totally locked up. That's Ruby. Greatest dog ever. Except, except for her drinking problem. <laughs> Mostly vodka. I drink, I drink water from a dish. <laughs> Thank you for helping. I was thinking, this is the fastest I have ever lost money on a slot machine. It just like froze. I, I know these are older machines. So, you know, I know that every uh, machine will have a hiccup every now and then. I mean, I've, it's never happened to me, but I figure, you know, it's a robot, so. Maybe it's just turned on me. Uh, or maybe you guys figured out a faster way to get my money. <laughs> Ruby, come here. Give her some space. Okay. I'll sit her up next to you. She wants to learn. <laughs> That's the time, huh? Ruby, look. Oh, oh, we're paused. Oh my gosh, man overboard. <laughs> Oh no, red screen, all my money's gone. Hey, you can pet her. That's my teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, she she looks bothered because she has never lost money that fast. <laughs> Normally she gets a couple of spins. I mean, that was like, you can see it was like 45 cents out of the machine. So I got just a couple spins in. It's like, oh wow, it's the fastest I've ever lost $20. <laughs> What's AVP, by the way? I see it on the on the screen. Yeah. Now it looks like a real video game. Can I play that? Whatever that is, it looks fun. <laughs> yeah, whatever that is. Is that the latest game we haven't heard of yet? So is that like the maker of the software, the AVP? Or? Yeah. Okay. I've never heard of it before. I see the I always see the IGT symbols on yeah. the game can, so. I wonder what the relationship does. This is wild. I have never in my life I mean you're a slot tech, right? So that's what you do is fix broken slot machines. Yeah. But for me, it's never happened in ever. I've been gambling for 20 years. Yeah. Does it happen that often? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Does it remember that I have money in the machine? Like when it when it starts back up? Yeah, okay. It's making noise. Is that the sound of it eating my money? Because <laughs> that's what it sounds like. That sounds like one of the bill feeders. Like you feed money in and you never see it again. That's wild. But that's, I guess that's why you guys have jobs. Is uh, when the machine takes my money faster than normal. <laughs> that's crazy. It takes a long time to load. Yeah. Okay. Ruby, you getting comfortable? She's she's getting antsy. She wants to gamble. <laughs> this takes a long time. By the way, we have a YouTube channel if you want to subscribe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
called Sliding in the Slots. It's a brand new channel, but we're going to grow it quickly. I mean, we're, we're the only one that gambles with a teddy bear, so why would you not subscribe? <laughs> Ruby has a gambling problem, so I just come along and film it. <laughs> Goodness, it's, it's totally locked up. I was like, that's the, it, I had like three spins on it and then nothing worked on the screen and none of the buttons. Is it working now? Yeah. All right, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll actually go back and play that if it's, but if it happens again, you know why. It's, it's like a voodoo, like, have you ever seen that before? Like it just totally froze. None of the buttons work. She restarted it and now it works, but I've not, I've gambled for 20, I mean, clearly it happens, so that's why she's got a job. But <laughs> I've just, I've never had a machine break on me before. Or what, what, is it, what, what do you call it when that happens? Is it a froze, so like video, like if you're playing Nintendo and it freezes once in a while, it's like the same thing? Awesome. Well, thank you so much for fixing it. I'll put, yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, her name's Ruby. All right, so we're gonna cash out on this machine. And we can't, oh, Ruby's. I think I need to get my teddy bear a drink next time drink service comes around. We're gonna play this round off and then go back to that other machine because we don't have the uh, ball of fire in our eyes. So let's cash this out. We did good on this. Remember, we've only put $5 in here. Cash out our ticket. And we have $12.67. Not bad for playing nickels. So we hit the four of a kind of aces. All right, we're gonna move the camera real quick. Oh my goodness, earthquake. And then we're gonna grab my drinks. We're gonna get back to low limit gambling. So, as I shake the camera everywhere, on this ticket right here, I'm just gonna set it down, not play with it. Out what we're left over with after drinking for free. So I'm gonna reposition the camera. Well, say hi, Ruby. Oh man, don't say hi, Ruby. This tripod is way too tall. All right, so we got a better shot now. Thanks for being patient. I'm doing my camera work. Let's take that voucher off the screen. And what are we supposed to do? We're we supposed to do a straight draw? Apparently not. I lost the first bet. Good job. So we're sticking that $12.67 voucher in our pocket that we pulled out of the other machine that we only put $5 in. So it's definitely a profit. Got a pair of nines, we'll hold. What do we got here? Nothing. And we got a pair of eights instead of the ace, or the ace king. What do we got? Queen. So what happened, that has never happened to me in my whole life. And I clearly, as I was joking with the slot attendant, that's the reason she's got a job, because these machines must break all the time. But it's never happened to me. So I think I'm supposed to hold a three to a straight flush. Wait a minute, I got a pair. So if I'm wrong, if I was supposed to hold a three to a straight flush, let me know in the comments. What do we got? We got a king. I got a hot dog. We need to get a drink for my dog. That was selfish of me not to order a drink for her last time. She wants shots. A uh, pair of twos. Full house, not bad. Oh, what do I do here? I think I'm supposed to hold for a straight draw and hope a six pops up, which it did not. Got a pair of jacks instead of the straight draw. All right. What do we got? Jack queen. And we got four to a flush, so we'll definitely hold that. Queen, Jack, King, I think. I don't think I'm supposed to just hold the Queen, King of Spades. I think I'm supposed to hold the Jack, Queen, King. Better chance of a straight. And we pick up one more royalty card in case we get Jacks or better just to get our money back for the spin. And it worked. We picked up a pair of Kings by holding three cards. 
you're just supposed to hold the ace. And I think just the ace again. Boy, my throat hurts from talking way too much. A pair of eights. I think, I think we're supposed to hold the four to a straight, but I don't know. Let me know if I messed that up. I think we're supposed to hold the pair of fours. I don't think we're supposed to hold the queen king, even though that's two to a straight flush, but I could be wrong. Got a pair of twos. A pair of kings. We got four to a flush. Missed it. Man, it is so hot in this casino. I'm gonna take my hat off. All right, we got two pair. We'll hold out for a full house, which we did not get. We got a pair of nines and nothing to go with it. Now keep in mind, we won, what, $2.75 in the last machine? We're only down 80 cents right now, but we've gotten two free drinks in one round. Not bad. Can't complain when the servers treat you right. Got a pair of aces, queen, king, and nothing to go with them. Got a, oh, we got two pair. All right, we'll get our nickel back. Did not get the full house, but at least I got our original bet back. Pair of eights. And just the ace. We got three jacks, let's do it. Hold on just for one second, I'm going to stop talking so I can vape, which I'm sure you'll all be thankful for. Four to a straight, missed, but we got a king as a consolation prize. Is it consolation or consultation? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Thank goodness, Slot Tech, was able, Slot Tech was able to reboot this machine. I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought that just like the casino is smarter than I am and figured out how to take $20 like that. But thank goodness that uh, kind Slot Tech lady was uh, smart enough to figure out what to do. I think she rebooted the machine. And from what I've heard, there's a battery backup system in the machine. So no matter what, even if the power goes out, it'll remember how much money you had in the machine. By the way, if you're a slot tech or have inside knowledge of the casino industry and I'm totally wrong about that, please let us know in the comments. I've never had any experience working in the casino. I was a professional gambler for 18 months where I lived a lot, moved to Las Vegas, gambled six days a week for about 18 months. And uh, believe it or not, I got tired of living the high roller lifestyle. Uh, everything in the casino was free for me. Uh, in fact, beginning of last year, in 2022, I pretty much lived in the Golden Nugget for the first three months of the year. I'd go back every other week and spend time with my children, because Papa needs to be in their life, but I'd come here and stay for a week at a time and just lived in the Golden Nugget for free. They'd also throw me a few free chips to make it worth my while to show up. Uh, by the way, I think I'm supposed to hold the pair of sevens. If I totally screwed this up, let me know. Got three of a kind. So anyways, for three months, I stayed at the Gold Nugget for about a week at a time and just lived in that hotel. And uh, I, believe it or not, you can get tired of living in four-star hotels. It was just mundane. Uh, it was really lonely, to tell you the truth, being a professional camper. That's how I paid my bills and made my living. And no, it was definitely not playing slot machines. Playing slot machines is a losing endeavor. This channel is for the monetization the revenue we get from YouTube. I will never, ever beat a slot machine in my life. I've been trying for 20 years and it still hasn't worked out yet. So if that's not proof that I have never in a year's time ever come off and beat a slot machine, that tells you who's smarter, the casino or the player. There's always a uh, take that these machines hold for the house. So you're never gonna beat a slot machine. The only way you'd ever beat a slot machine, if you were that one in a zillion 
where you hit a giant progressive, you know, millions of dollars, whatever, and never walked into a casino again the rest of your life. That's the only way you're gonna beat a slot machine uh, playing games. Now, when I lived here, I was a professional blackjack player. Uh, so that's how I made my living. It had nothing to do with slot machines. I would never play slot machines when I was a professional gambler. In fact, in my training, we're taught that's the forbidden sin, is to play slot machines, because you will never in your entire life beat a slot machine. The game of blackjack is a game of math if you play it professionally. So that's what I was doing living here for 18 months in Las Vegas. But I certainly was not making my money off of slot machines. <clears throat> and if you want me to shut up now, I'll try, but I can't promise. Two pair, so we're gonna hold out for the full house. And we missed. Try again. I think I'm supposed to hold the three instead of the two to a straight flush. Boy, I hope that nice drink lady comes around soon. My throat is getting sore from talking entirely too much. I think what we're doing with this session is we want to see exactly how long we can play off of, what, $5? So with the $2 that we've already made on the other machine, $2.70, we're still a couple dollars ahead. We're drinking for free, and she's gonna be around any time now for another round of drinks. And uh, I think we could drink all night long off of $10 through this machine. Imagine what that would cost you on the strip. There's plenty of bars at the strip where a drink is $20 or more. We're playing in downtown Las Vegas right now off Fremont Street. That's, in fact, that's one of the only places you can find nickel video poker. I dare you trying to find nickel video poker in any casino on the strip other than a smaller place, maybe like Casino Royale or Slots of Fun or Circus Circus, which is, you know, what, a million years old by now? Uh, but other than that, you're not, you're only going to find these nickel games, to my knowledge, in the downtown area versus the strip. Now, of course, you can find these in station casinos. Uh, and the pay tables are slightly better at Station Casinos, I know that because I play, exclusively play this game, Double Double Bonus, uh, and it's usually nickels. If I'm feeling feisty, I'll bump it up to quarters and play max bet, $1.25 a spin, but that's not smart because I've never beaten a video poker machine in my life, I've never beaten a slot machine, only beat game I've ever beaten is blackjack, and that's not a, it, it's really impossible to have a relationship unless you're already with someone and they understand what you're doing and they support what you're doing. If you just meet someone in the middle of your blackjack career, I've known other APs, which stands for advantage players, meaning a player who plays a game of blackjack with a substantial advantage over the house over the long run, where you can actually make a living gambling, you know, six days a week like I was for a year and a half. But uh, long story short, I know specifically of other APs, other advantage players, other professional blackjack players that travel the country full time, play the game blackjack, beating casinos for hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. There are players who have made a million dollars in one year's time doing that, but that's a rare exception and they're playing uh, with a large bankroll to start with. The players who've made a million dollars in a year didn't start with less than $100,000 in cash. Uh, takes and, and that's getting very lucky for within a year's time, but they're playing at a high level So my point is regarding hey, we got Delta full house. How about that? Uh, one of the toughest things about being an AP a professional an advantage player professional blackjack player is It was impossible for me to have a relationship and I live in Las Vegas I was playing when I go to the blackjack table every single night. I would win or lose several thousand dollars you know, I'd have nights where if I'd lose over $3,000 in a night, uh, I'd, I'd call it a night before I got to $4,000. I've never lost uh, to really too much more than $3,000 in a night before I get disgusted with myself and say, let's pack it in, because things are just not working out for that day. But I'd also went loot, uh, leave the casino after making a couple thousand dollars, when I'd certainly have a chance to stick around and make, you know, another five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 on top of that. But I didn't want to push my luck for that session, wanted to lock in some wins. And also, I didn't want to attract attention and get uh, asked to leave the casino because they figure out that I'm better at them than blackjack after, or, uh, after I win too much money in one session or one day. 
But uh, my point of that is I would meet women just because the amount of money that I was spending at the table. Uh, women would see me and ask what I did for a living and I'd tell them the truth. I own a small business in Gilbert, Arizona and Scottsdale, Arizona, a service business that services those areas. Uh, and that's how I pay some of my bills for sure. But uh, I was also, you know, I was living here full time and making a second income playing full time blackjack. But you can't talk about that when you're sitting at the tables or you'll get kicked out of the casino right away. Uh, people who are better at blackjack than the casino, they will ask you to leave very quickly and not come back. So women would ask what I do for a living. I told them I owned a small business in Gilbert, Arizona, which is the truth. But I didn't tell them that, you know, <laughs> so, I'm also making a living from blackjack. Um, but they see the amount of money I'd be placing, you know, if, and I wasn't betting that high of, of limits. When the cards were in my favor, I'd be betting $200 or $300 per hand. So, you know, you can lose $1,000 in 30 seconds if the, you got a fast dealer at max bets, which is a bad day for sure. Um, but these women would think I was just, you know, not only wealthy, which I'm not uh, by any measure, uh, they'd also think that I throw money around and I spend money and I'm, I, I guess I was gonna, they maybe hoped I'd spend money on them, but I'm, I'm quite thrifty. Other than at the blackjack table where I have no problem losing several thousand dollars a night in an effort, uh, as long as I play perfect blackjack, that's the only thing that matters. If I lose two, three thousand dollars a night, of course it sucks, but if I played perfectly, I can go to sleep and not worry about it and wake up the next day, go back to the tables and, you know, if I have another bad day, lose another couple thousand dollars. But as long as I play perfectly in blackjack, it's okay. So about the relationships thing, uh, when I lived in Las Vegas for 18 months, it was absolutely impossible to date. And I don't mean women didn't want to date me. I tried dating, seriously dating four different women and uh, it fell apart every time uh, because they knew what I did for a living. They knew I was a professional gambler. There we go, a little full house on Nichols. They knew I was a professional gambler. And because of that, they didn't think it was a secure job. And I told them I had a little business in Arizona. It's true, I own a service company in, out of Gilbert, Arizona. But they thought, clearly thought, because the amount of money I was betting every night, that I made my the chunk of my income from professional blackjack. I actually made the chunk, the majority of my income from the business in Gilbert, Arizona. I own a service business. I have a business partner. We have, you know, what, 10 employees or so? Just a small business. Um, nothing to write home about. But that's where my majority of my income come, came from. And since these women would see me go out and lose $2,000 or $3,000 in one night and then go back the next night and do it all over again, they thought I was completely loaded. And that definitely worked to my disadvantage. And I'd tell them the truth. I'd be like, hey, my money comes from the business I co-own in Gilbert, Arizona. And the gambling money uh, that I earn in the casino is just icing on the cake. But they would see, like in terms of social proof, they'd see me lose two or $3,000 a night and say he's lying. His money comes from gambling, clearly, or he wouldn't be doing this. And they've also, of course, I'd tell them when I'd win a couple thousand dollars a night, and then go back another night, and if I got lucky again, win a couple more thousand dollars. The cards are in my favor, and it panned out, which it doesn't always. But um, it was impossible to find a girl that would take me seriously or feel secure enough to date a guy that is a professional gambler. So I, I warn people against it. I've had so many people ask me to tell them stories about it or say how amazing that would be to gamble for a living, and I was like, yeah, it, looks good on paper. That's why I <laughs> moved to Vegas for 18 months of my life and did it. Uh, by the way, tell me if I'm screwing this up, because I probably am. Uh, I'm going to hold the jack anyways. Let me know if I jacked that up. Um, but uh, it was a wild experience. I don't regret it. I still traveled back to Arizona at least every other week, depending on the schedule of my uh, ex-wife to see my children spend a full week with them at a time uh, basically around the clock because when I was in town I didn't have a job to report to so I could be there when they wake up be there when they go to bed and uh, just stay in the 
in Gilbert and uh, then we'll come back to Vegas and gamble full time for a living. But I think if you do something you love and then it turns into a job, it's not going to be fun anymore. And that's kind of what happened with professional blackjack. I should probably shut up sometime. My voice is almost gone. <laughs> Lucky for you guys. Did not get the full house. By the way, on this machine, we're only down a dollar, and we've been gambling for 44 minutes so far. This is pretty incredible. Hopefully that sweet drink lady comes around soon, because <clears throat> I am parched. I need another drink. Three kings, I'll take it. Two pair. Let's do it, baby. Oh, sorry, I just tipped my teddy bear on the head. Sorry, Ruby Booby. We got four to a flush, so we'll hold that over the twos, and we missed. What do we got? A pair of tens? By the way, do you like my watch? It's a citizen. If you hate it, let me know in the comments. I can always get better. Got a pair of eights. Mm, I think just the queen. I don't think we're supposed to hold the straight draw because it's not open-ended. Two pair. Well, we get it. Did not get the full house. Just the jack. Oh, my back hurts. I've been lifting weights and pretty heavily lately, and uh, I regret it. Not worth it at all. I am sore every single day. I go to the gym, I beat myself up lifting heavier weights than I should, and then I pay the price for a while. I think I'm just supposed to hold the ace queen of spades. And I know that's completely the opposite of what I did just a minute ago. Like I said, I do not know what I'm doing. Here, definitely holding only aces, because if we got that lucky, the ace with the two, three, four kicker, four aces, it'd pay big coins pay 400 nickel coins instead of a hundred uh, well if we compare with the full house full house only pays seven. will we get the four aces let's find out no we will not of course a king popped up just to spite us what do we got two pair oh I don't know what I'm doing just two pair no house man I need a drink I'm running out of voice I guess I was talking up the drink service and I just realized it's been almost 35 minutes since she came around. <laughs> this is crap. I wonder if they're short staffed. <clears throat> I'd hate it if I was short staffed. Pair of kings. Got a pair of jacks. By the way, let me know if you got that joke. <clears throat> I'm not going to repeat it. Because it belongs in kindergarten. But I thought it was decent. A pair of aces. Oh, I need a drink. I might have to cash out and go buy one at the bar. Which is a forbidden sin if you're trying to drink for free off the nickels. What do we hold? Five. So I think we hold for the straight draw. Got it! Ha ha! Straight draw missed King Jack oh my throat hurts so bad I've been talking for 47 minutes and ran out of drink what am I supposed to hold here six seven eight oh but not uh, eight comes up I mean missed picked the wrong ones Nope, pair of threes. Hold the ace. Oh, pair of nines. Mmm, nothing, go fish. King 
queen. I wonder when the drink server is gonna be around. I need another pair of drinks. They three tenths, better than nothing. I think we're supposed to hold nine tenths. Oh yeah, because it's straight flush drop. If it was unsuited, I wouldn't know what to do. But if you guys know what to do in that situation, please let me know in the comments. I'm always trying to get better at video poker. In fact, if you let me know what I'm doing wrong in the comments, that saves me money over time so I can make more of these videos. I have more money to lose for you. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> can't talk. I have more money to lose for your viewing pleasure if you let me know what I'm doing wrong in the comments and I get a little bit better. Uh, King Jack. I'm about to quit and go buy a drink. My voice. I was going to say my voice hurts so bad, but I don't think that's a thing. My throat's pretty sore. Pair of tens. I think I'm supposed to, uh, I got an open end straight. Let me know in the comments if I'm making the wrong move. Probably. By the way, what's the over under when we get a drink service in the next five minutes? I'm a betting man. Jack King. Pair of sevens. Pair of aces. You think we'll get four? Nope. Pair of tens. Went nowhere. Two pair. We'll hold those. Hoping for a full house. Did not come. Three kings. Uh, Go fish. Nothing. Ace King of Hearts. Oh, I so want to hold for the straight flush, the royal flush draw, but we only got three of the cards. If that was a ten of clubs or a queen of clubs, then we would hold for the royal draw for sure. But I believe the book says in this instance, hold the pair if you got a guaranteed winner. And it didn't work. Pair of kings. Oh, that was bad. Hey, we got a house. I'll take it. Delta flush, I like it. By the way, what do you guys think the odds are that we'll get our money back? Or we'll get a drink before I lose my voice and start crying. Three of a kind. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. Normally the drink service is so good. I'd be feeling fine by now, but I'm only feeling okay. because the ace is worth so much in comparison with the other cards on the screen if you get four of them. It pays more than double of the, any other four of a kind if you get aces. And if you get four aces with a two, three, four kicker, that's when it pays 400 coins, which isn't bad. I think we're lucky we're only down $1.40 right now in this machine after playing for so long. I'll take guaranteed bet back. I think that's the right move. Probably not. I always question myself when I lose. Just kidding. If you're playing perfect strategy, by the way, if you're trying to get better at video poker, I strongly recommend you download an app. 
Uh, I have one in my phone. I can't tell you what it is right now because we're recording live. But the app is free. I don't pay anything for it. It's a really well designed game. Uh, it's called, I think it's called Video Poker Trainer. And you can turn the feature on that gives you tips. And if you don't know what the right move is, you hit the button before you redraw and it tells you what the perfect, not only what the perfect move is, but the odds of getting every single card combination. And the reason the game chose that, because your X percent, you know, let's say there's a 15% chance of you getting 160 payout. That's gonna tell you what cards to keep based strictly on math, not on gut feeling or gambling or full house or anything else. But the Video Poker Trainer app on my iPhone will tell you exactly what to hold. So over time, if you play it enough, and I'm talking dozens and dozens of hours, because there's, what, uh, I believe over 10,000 combinations of cards that you can get on the screen. I could be, I'm pulling that out of thin air, but I know it's at least in the thousands. Uh, so if you play a Video Poker app on your phone, then you're much more likely how to learn how to play the game without with losing the minimal amount of money. Just like blackjack, if you play perfect basic strategy, the house only has a half, half a percent advantage over if you're playing a good three to two blackjack game with good rules. Uh, if you're playing video poker, this might have as much as a, who knows, at least a 5%, 6%, maybe 7, 8% advantage over me, only because I'm playing nickels. I'll tell you what I mean. If I switch to the nomination, we take a look at the pay table. This is a 7-5 double-double bonus nickel video poker machine. It's Game King. But this is called 7-5 because if I get a full house, it pays 7 credits. If I get a flush, it pays 5 credits. Now, if we check, compare that with quarters, I guarantee you that pay amount on the pay table goes up. Went from 7-5 to 9-5. So a substantial difference if you get a full house. It pays an extra 2 coins. Now, does it pay any higher for the other higher up denominations? 50 cents is the same, and so is a dollar. So in this machine, if you're looking to maximize your percent payback, you'd want to play quarters. I recommend one quarter at a time. I'm sure people are going to tell me I'm crazy because if you play one coin, you're not eligible for the uh, Royal Flush Big Bonus, which pays four times more if you put five coins in as opposed to four coins. But I just play one coin at a time. I'm only playing nickels, absolutely bare minimum. Did this freeze up on me too? Press one button to start. What? Can I play? Bet one credit. Oh, now you make noise? Wait. Why did it make noise when I hit bet one credit but not? Oh, that's right. This machine already crashed and burned on us before. So I can't trust it to do its job. is really screwing up the video. <laughs> I'm having to play to get free drinks and we haven't seen the cocktail server since I lost my voice. I wonder if she quit. Only hold the pair of aces because if we get four of a kind, four aces with the right kicker pays a whole bunch more than a full house. At least we got three of them. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold the ace. I think we should move next to the bar so we get some better service. If you hear the snoring in the background, I promise it's my pug. service button on the slot machine so hopefully we get drink service. That's not how it works, but we'll give it a shot. Straight draw. Missed. Uh, 
pair of sevens. Jack King. Pair of tens. Pair of sevens. Flush draw, missed. Queen Jack. Did I screw that up? Was I supposed to hold for the straight draw? Let me know. Flush draw, missed. Got an ace. Pair of nines. King. Pair of fives. By the way, if you guys saw those two security officers who just walked by, they're standing 10 feet behind me, talking about whether they should kick me out or not for filming. <laughs> All I'm doing is showing a great game. We just hold the aces, hoping for four of a kind. We did not. Another chance, four aces. Missed it. Teddy bear's tired. Yeah, flush draw. Pair of sevens. Flush draw again. Got it. Got a Pair of bases. Just a jack. What do we got? Flush draw. Another flush draw. Missed it. Got a pair of queens. Two pair. Doesn't pay any better than one pair of queens. What should we do? Should we move? I think that's the right move. spin. I think we're going to move to a different area. Or I'm going to go ask her if she can <laughs> kindly bring us some drinks. Alright, we're going to play it down. Three more spins, play it down to $17. I'm going to get up, 
and find a drink, one way or another. If I can stop winning. Last spin, I'm gonna take a break. All right, intermission. Cashing out just for the moment with $17, we'll be right back.